Some of the sizes and distances in space are incredibly large and often they're measured using different units. It might be difficult sometimes to see how big certain things are. The planets and the stars may seem incredibly large but there is nothing compared to the distances in between them. But how do you compare one with the other? Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see the wood for the trees. Well, let's start with something we know relatively well as the Earth. It's got a diameter just over 12,000 kilometres. Now the distance from the Earth to the Moon is about 384,000 kilometres, or about 32 times that the diameter of the Earth. Now the distance from the Earth to the Sun is now about 150 million kilometres, or about uh, 12,500 times the diameter of the Earth. Now this distance is also known as an astronomical unit, which is a relatively standard measure. Now it takes light about 8 minutes to travel the same distance from Earth to the Sun. Our outermost planet, no, it's the proper planet as opposed to a dwarf planet, is Neptune. Now Neptune is 4.5 billion kilometres from the Sun, or about 30 astronomical units. Now, going out further from that, most distant spacecraft that's actually been launched from Earth is currently Voyager 1. Now Voyager 1 is about 130 astronomical units, or actually about 18 light hours away. So that means that light takes 18 hours to actually go from Earth to Voyager 1. And another 18 hours to go back from Voyager 1 back to us. But that's only relatively a short distance as far as space is concerned. Ne our nearest star is Alpha Centauri. It's also got two other stars which are near it, Proxima Centauri and another one. But Alpha Centauri is what's known as the nearest star. And that's just over four light years away. So that's light travelling to it takes just over four years to actually reach it. Another four years to get, come back. The bright star you might see in the night sky is the North Star, or Polaris. That's quite a bit further away again, which is about 434 light years away. But that's still actually relatively close within the Milky Way. These are just all the stars you can see as single stars are actually all within a very small part of the Milky Way. The Milky Way itself is about 100,000 light years across. But there are other galaxies out there. There's the Andromeda Galaxy, which is our closest galaxy, and may actually one day pass through the Milky Way. But that's actually still quite a large distance away. The Andromeda Galaxy is about 2.5 million light years away and it's the first object you can actually see with the naked eye it looks like a little smudge in the sky it's not actually a star, it's a whole galaxy of stars but that's actually relatively close to us our universe is actually estimated to be about 93 billion not million, 93 billion light years across that is a huge distance. So that goes from the scale of our Earth from 12,000 kilometres to 93 billion light years. There's an awful lot of space in space and very little matter in the form of planets, stars, dust and anything else in between. Most of space is space. hope that gives you a help on some of the distances involved in space.